Welcome to 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. The importance of the right to assemble is nowhere better illustrated than in the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s. Under the leadership of Martin Luther King Jr., A. Philip Randolph, Bayard Rustin, and others, thousands participated in the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in 1963. Today, the right to petition is widely used at the local, state, and national levels. Groups that do not have the money to buy advertising often use the right to assemble and petition to make their views known by attracting the attention of the news media. In 2006, for example, millions of Latin American immigrants sponsored marches throughout the United States to draw attention to the plight of undocumented workers. The right to petition includes much more than formal petitions. Faxes, emails, phone calls, and letters to public officials also are methods of petitioning the government. The right to petition is not limited to people wishing the government to correct wrongs. Individuals, groups, and corporations lobby government officials to try to persuade them to adopt policies that will benefit their interests or the interests of the country as a whole. That's all for today's podcast. The show's theme song is Complacent by Cheryl B. Englehart. You can find Cheryl online at cbemusic.com. 60 Second Civics, where civic engagement only takes a minute.